Live golfers struggled at the Masters last weekend, not living up to expectations. With Cameron Smith, one of the best out of the Live cohort, finishing sixth overall at two under. Thirteen Live competitors turned out for the year's first major, but none of them came in the top five, and only three finished in the top ten. Smith, Bryson, Deschambeau, and Tyrell Hatton. While five of the twelve missed the cut, and all thirteen players finished with a combined 82 for the weekend, it's a vastly different outcome to 2023, when live golfers took three of the top six places before winner John Ram subsequently defected to live. And at the PGA Championship last year, Eves Brooks Koepka reigned supreme. Cameron Smith has rubbished claims live stars are unable to hang with their PGA Tour rivals anymore. As Rory McIlroy is reportedly considering defecting to the Saudi-backed league, image Getty. With the Masters flop, there have been claims that live stars are no longer able to hang with their PGA Tour rivals, largely due to only competing over 54 holes at live events. Three-time Masters champion Nick Faldo even went as far as to suggest that playing in the Rebel League had robbed the defectors of their competitive edge. But Smith had a fierce response when asked whether he felt there was any truth to that. No, no, that's BS. He said of Faldo's claim that tackling the 54-hole live league was little more than playing resort courses and shorts. Rory McIlroy linked with shock live defection. Meanwhile, golfing superstar Rory McIlroy has been linked with a bombshell $850 million US to one 32 BN. Deal to join Live Golf in what would be one of the biggest defections to the rival golf tour. Live figurehead Greg Norman was in attendance as a patron at the Masters over the weekend, and was seen following McIlroy's playing group around the Augusta National Course in the first round, sparking rumors of a potential defection. But the rumors have now gone to a new level, with multiple reports suggesting the four-time major winner is on the brink of joining Live. McIlroy was one of the fiercest critics of the Challenger Tour, but his stance softened following talks between the two organizations to unite. McIlroy said the potential deal left him feeling like a sacrificial lamb. He said in January, "I think what Liv has done, it's exposed the flaws in the system of what golf has were all supposed to be independent contractors, and we can pick and choose what tournaments we want to play." 